Hello everyone, this is Alex from Tech Media Guys, and today I'm doing another tutorial on the Play PlayStation 2 emulator for Android. Because um, my last two tutorials have been a bit um, confusing, as you can say, and um, there's also another method you can use to download the app if you're having trouble. So, the first way I'm going to show you is the traditional way, which I've uh, shown in my other videos. What you want to do is open up Google Plus. Uh, make sure you're doing this on your phone. You want to open Google Plus, and you want to. Uh, I'm going to leave the links in the description for these. So if you just want to click the links, you can, or you can follow the way I'm doing it. You want to search "play" with an exclamation mark, and then with a dash. And you can see here the "play PlayStation 2 emulator." You click on that one with 47,000 members. You want to click on that one. This is what it will look like. This is what it needs to look like. And then you need to press join. Make sure you read all the rules as well. Okay, so that's the first step done. The second step is there'll be a link in the description for this as well. You want to click on the link and you'll come to this page here. Virtual Applications has invited you to the testing program for an unreleased version of the Play app. So this is the step you need to press the button here, become a tester, there you go, you are now an official tester of the program. So now to download the app, uh, there will be link, you can just click this here, this link, it will open up Play in the Play Store, you want to press install, and there you go. Open up the app. Allow player to access photos, media, and files on your device. Yes, you need to press allow. And there you go. Your games that you've already got downloaded will be there. Okay, so this is the second step to um, the second way to download the app. So if you if it does not work if it doesn't work that way for you, what you want to do is click the link in the description for this website here, puree.org. So this is the website for the um, the developer who's making the app. This is their website. So what you want to do is click on the download section, and then the weekly builds for Windows, OS X, Android, and iOS. Once you clicked on this, you want to look. Rec the, the recent build is 26th of June 2016 for me. Um, obviously, in the future there'll be more recent builds, so you want to click on them, download them. What you want for Android is the play.apk, uh, which is this one here. You want to click on that. Make sure, press OK. And press that. Now the file is downloading. So to make sure uh, to install it this way, you need to go into your settings. All the way down to security. So once you enter security, you will need to look for unknown sources. Allow installation of apps from unknown sources, so not from the Play Store. Um, yours will look like this. If you, if you haven't previously turned it on, you just want to press OK. Then when the app is downloaded, you can open up the app. You want to install an update. Um, install. This is the way you'll do it if you can't do it the Play Store way. App has been installed open up and there you go so there are the two ways that you can download the app and if you've got any questions I've tried to make this as simple as possible um, if you want to download the games you can download uh, from websites such as emu paradise look for a ps2 game um, if you look for a ps2 game you will need to download this app here called raw so and then when you so if I've got this here, you've got your uh, Resident Evil 4, for example, your download file, what you want to do is press extract here. When you press extract here, it will extract all the files and then once that's finished extracting, when you open up the play app, then your game will be available to play. Uh, you've also got your settings here. I recommend pressing show frame 
and the show virtual uh, virtual pad if it's not already selected as well as the enable audio output and then the UI settings uh, you can scan if your game is not um, showing up and theme selection you can change the color of the app if uh, you just want to do that just a simple nice touch so yeah there's everything uh, I try to make it as simple as possible as I said before if you've got any questions just leave the uh, questions in the description hopefully you can subscribe stick around for our other content um, we would do I will be doing more performance videos of games um, so yeah leave a like on the video and thank you for watching